Hello students, welcome back to the math class. Today we are going to discuss about chapter 7 that is triangles. In this class we are going to learn some more concepts of triangles. Let us discuss exercise 7.1 question number 6. It says in figure 7.21 AC is equal to AE, AB is equal to AD and angle BAD is equal to angle EAC so that BC is equal to D. Let me draw the diagram first. Students, as you can see, I have drawn a similar diagram that is given in your book. So, what are the given data? Given AC is equal to A, AC is equal to A, E. Then, AB is equal to AD, AB is equal to AD. So, angle BAD is equal to, okay. So, what is being asked? It is being asked to show that BC is equal to D, fine. So, to prove BC is equal to D. Let us first check where these two sides lie B C B C and D E. B C is one of the sides of triangle A B C triangle A B C same way D E is one of the sides of triangle A D E triangle A D E. Fine. So, if we can prove that these two triangles are congruent triangles, then it will be proved that BC is equal to D because they are corresponding sides. So, let us try to prove. See, students, you can clearly observe that this angle, that is angle D a C. D A C is adjacent to both angle B A D angle B A D and angle C A E. Isn't it? DAC is adjacent to angle BAD and angle EAC. So, angle BAD plus angle DAC is equal to angle EAC plus angle DAC. Why? Because Angle BAD is equal to angle EAC that is given. Angle BAD is equal to angle EAC it is given. So, when we add these two angles, we get angle BAC. That means angle BAC is equal to angle D A E. D A E. So now we have angle B A C is equal to angle D A E. So now let us concentrate on triangles A B C and A D E. Okay. In A B C and A D E. In triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, E, A, B is equal to A, D, A, B is equal to A, D that is given, fine, A, C is equal to A, E that is also given and angle B, A, C is equal to angle D A E. 
it is proved already fine that means these are two pairs of equal sides and this is a pair of equal angles which is included angle for the sides isn't it ab and ac the angle bac is included in triangle dae ad and ae and dae is the included angle that's why triangle abc is congruent to triangle a d e triangle abc is congruent to triangle ade that means as these two triangles are congruent now we can see that bc is equal to de bc is equal to de because these two sides are corresponding sides of the triangles abc and ade okay hope you understood students let us discuss question number 7 what it says ab is a line segment and p is its midpoint d and e are points on the same side of ab such that angle bad is equal to angle abe and angle epa is equal to angle dpb what we need to prove triangle dap is congruent to triangle ebp and ad is equal to b students let me draw the diagram first students i have drawn the diagram as per your book so what are the given data p is midpoint of ab okay p is midpoint of a b that implies ap is equal to bp fine and angle bad is equal to angle abe angle bad is equal to angle abe what else angle epa is equal to angle dpb and what we need to prove first triangle dap is congruent to triangle ebp to prove triangle dap is congruent to triangle ebp and ad is equal to be so to get into the congruency of triangle dap and ebp let us concentrate how we can go through the question okay in triangle dap which is the triangle dap and ebp ebp see as we have done in question number 6 we can see that angle epd is adjacent to angle epa and angle dpb okay so angle epd is adjacent to both angle epa and angle dpb that implies angle epa plus angle ep d is equal to angle dpb plus angle epd why 
angle EPA is equal to angle DPB it is given fine. So, that means angle DPA angle DPA is equal to angle EPB EPB ok EPA plus EPD EPA plus EPD that means DPA same way DPB DPB plus EPD is your EPB fine. Now, let us concentrate on those triangles which one DPA and EBP. So, in triangle DPA and triangle EPB angle DPA is equal to angle EPB we have proved it ok. Now, AP is equal to PB it is given fine AP is equal to PB and angle DAP is equal to angle EBP. Why? Because it is given that angle BAD is equal to angle ABE. Okay. That means angle DAP is equal to angle EBP because P lies on side AB. Fine. So, now we have two pairs of equal angles and a pair of equal side. So, we can clearly say that triangle DPA is congruent to triangle EPB by AAS congruency. So, we have proved that triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EPB fine. Now, what else we have to prove? AD is equal to B. AD is equal to BE. AD is equal to B. Exactly. We can clearly see that these are the corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. So, AD is equal to BE. Clear? Now, I hope you have understood this clearly ok. Let us discuss question number 8. It says in right triangle ABC right angled at C M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. C is joined to M and produced to a point D such that DM is equal to CM. Point D is joined to point B. Uh, we need to show that triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD, angle DBC is a right angle, triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB and CM is equal to half of AB, CM is equal to half of AB, fine. So, let me draw the diagram first. Students, I have drawn the diagram as per your book. So, let us discuss the given data first. Okay. It is given that ABC it is a right angle triangle. Fine. ABC is right angle, right angle at C. That means angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. Fine. M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. That means AM is equal to BM as M is 
midpoint of a b okay c is joined to m and produced to a point d such that dm is equal to cm dm is equal to cm what it says c is joined to m and produced to d such that dm is equal to c m and what we need to prove triangle amc triangle amc is congruent to triangle bmd okay so to prove first triangle amc is congruent to triangle second angle dbc is a right angle third and fourth cm is equal to half ab we need to prove these four so let us first go to the first bit and prove triangle mc is congruent to triangle bmd for that we need to concentrate on triangle amc and triangle bmd okay so in triangle amc and triangle bmd we have found that am is equal to bm and dm is equal to cm it is given it is proved fine and angle dmb is equal to angle amc why vertical they are vertically opposite angles so we have found two pairs of equal sides with included angles so that's why triangle amc is congruent to triangle bmd by sas congruency fine so we have proved the first bit that is triangle amc is is congruent to triangle bmd okay let us discuss the second bit it says angle dbc is a right angle let us see where it lies angle dbc okay angle dbc so we have already proved that triangle is congruent to triangle bmd it is already proved fine second bit angle dbc is a right angle so angle dbc is equal to 90 degree we need to prove fine so angle dbc this should be 90 degree how can we prove if we can prove that triangle dbc and triangle abc are congruent then we can prove that angle dbc is a right angle because it will be a, the corresponding angle to angle acb which is already given that it's a right angle so let us try and prove that triangle dbc and triangle a c b let us concentrate fine we need to prove they are congruent so in these two triangles bc is common side fine bc is common side now let us concentrate on angle bac and angle 
C, D, B. Okay. You can clearly see that these two angles are the corresponding angle of triangle DBM and triangle AMC which are congruent. So, we can say that angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. So, we can say that angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. Why? Because angle BDC and angle BAC are co-inciding angles which are equal because triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. So, angle BDC and BDM they are equal same way angle BAC and angle MAC they are equal. MAC and angle MDB they are equal because they are corresponding angles of congruent triangles AMC and BMD. So, now we have got another data. We have a side which is common and we have a pair of angles which are same to each other. Now, what else we should look for? we should look for another side or another angle which should be equal to each other. Let us find it out. These two triangles, triangle AMC and triangle BMD, okay, they are congruent and we have already given that AM is equal to BM and DM is equal to CM. So, in these two triangles, when we consider triangle AMC and triangle BMD, okay, AM is equal to BM and DM is equal to CM. That means BA is equal to CD. So, I can write AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD, fine. BC is common side. Angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. But can we go for the congruency of the triangles with these data? Let us check. So, in this case, BC is a common side, okay. AB is equal to CD, AB is equal to CD, and angle BAC, angle BAC is equal to angle BDC, angle BDC. But in that case, this angle is not the included angle for BC and AB. The included angle for BC and AB is this angle which we do not know about. That is why we need to prove that the included angle that is BDC and BAC, BDC and BAC they have to be equal, isn't it? So, as we have already proved that these two triangles are congruent, that means these two angles are also congruent, that means they are equal to each other. So, we have angle BDC is equal to angle BAC, fine, angle BDC and angle BAC, they are equal to each other. Now, we have AC is equal to BD, AC is equal to BD, AC is equal to BD, why? Because AC and BD, they are the congruent parts, isn't it? As these two triangles are congruent triangle BMD and triangle AMC, they are congruent. So, AC and BD are the corresponding part of the congruent triangles. So, they are equal AC is equal to BD. Now, let us check AC is equal to BD, AB is equal to CD 
and these two angles are equal that means AC, AB and the included angles, BD, CD and the included angles. Now we can say that triangle BDC is congruent to triangle BAC. Which congruency? Yes, that is your SARS. Fine. Now, in this way, we can prove that triangle BDC is congruent to triangle BAC. So, as these two triangles are equal, so angle ACB is equal to angle DBC, corresponding angle of the congruent triangles. What is angle ACB? Angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. That means angle DBC is equal to 90 degree. It is also proved. Fine. So, what else? Let us go to the third question that is triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. Third one, triangle DVC is congruent to triangle ACB. Okay? So, we need to concentrate on triangle DBC and triangle ACB. Triangle DBC and triangle ACB. Triangle DBC and triangle ACB, which have already proved, we have already proved that triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. What else? CM is equal to half AB. What is CM? CM is equal to half of AB. As these two triangles are congruent, so we can say that CD is equal to AB. CD is equal to AB. So, as M is equal to BM, as M is equal to BM. So, in this case, CM is equal to half CD. CM is equal to half CD and CD is equal to AB, that is why we can write that CM is equal to half AB. We can write that CM is equal to half AB. Okay? Students, I hope you have understood this question properly. Please practice all these questions and revise well. So, students, in this class, we have discussed questions of your first exercise of triangles. In our next class, we will discuss some more concepts about the triangles. Okay? Till then, keep smiling, take care, thank you.